What's good everybody? We are back once again and this was by demand. We did not intend to review this, but you guys and girls were in my DMs for weeks straight. Well, the theme of 2019 was to give the people what they want. So I told Megan, let's get to it. The Gold Map Speed 6 is literally Skechers' no-nonsense lightweight racing flag. It's simple and to the point. But sometimes brands still find a way to mess things up. Which is why we do what we do. This is our review of the Skechers Go Map Speed 6. So in the upper you got a translucent mesh that you may have seen in shoes like the Speed Trail Hyper or in my Skechers Speed Elite review. As far as the concept, it is as simple as it comes. But it is very effective in holding your foot in place. You got some nylon mesh in the midfoot to add just a bit more structure around the midfoot. And near the heel you got an external heel counter. It's sturdy and keeps the shoe stable enough to be effective when combined with the minimal upper. It's just enough to get the job done. And there's almost no padding in the heel cup, or anywhere else in the upper. But for the purpose of being a racer, we still found it comfortable. The shoe is very breathable, and my only gripe was that the mesh did take a couple of runs to break in. The toe box is about average, not wide and not narrow. So yeah, this has the typical fit of a traditional racing flat. Now the bread and butter of this shoe is the Hyperburst. And I'll go ahead and say it again, just in case this is the first time that you've heard of it. Hyperburst is life. As simple as the shoe is, the ride is fast, nimble, and has that extra bounce that many of us elite joggers like. It's a very light material, so you don't get that bottom heavy feeling that sometimes come with shoes with light uppers. When you put these on, you're going to feel fast, snappy, quick, responsive, all those buzzwords. The Speed 6 has that, but this goes without saying. You're not going to get a nice long run feeling of plushness and comfort. Now shoes like the Go Run Ride 8 or the Max Road 4 also has hyperburst and a lot more of it. Those are for comfort. The Speed 6 on the other hand is for speed. But unless you're one of those elite joggers who can really maintain that fast pace at extended distances, you might use this shoe from a road mile all the way to a half marathon. Personally, I think this is an ideal 5K, 10K shoe. But hey, everyone is different. Now what actually surprised me was the inclusion of the Goodyear rubber throughout the outsole. I can't think of many shoes that are this light and still has that full coverage rubber. The grip on these did not fail us once. And there's always that part of me that just feels at ease knowing there's something protecting the shoe from the pavement. Now I know like half of you right now are like, Jamie, you forgot to mention the plate. Isn't there a carbon plate? The answer is no. But yes, there is no carbon plate. But there is a plate. But it is not like the carbon plates that you see in the Vaporfly, the Carbon X, or the Speed Elite. This is a P-Bax plate sandwiched right between the midsole. If you look close, you can kind of see it. And it helps keep the shoe fast and stable, at faster speeds. So yes, it makes the shoe faster, but you're not going to get that crazy spring forward feeling that you get in other shoes. Like the Vaporfly or Speed Elite. So the Speed 6 to me, is exactly what it looks like. A no-nonsense, Nice, fast, minimal racing flat. Maybe for a road mile, maybe a full marathon if you're one of those people. But one last important thing, and I wanted to leave this part for the end. This shoe for me did great when I went a half size up from my normal running shoe size. Meaning I went a half size up more than what I wear in my Razor 3s, my Nike Pegasus, and my Asics Gels. Some people suggest going a full size up. I'm just saying going in at least a half size up is probably a good idea, but do you? So yeah, racing flats are fun, they are cool, and these do the job. So when it comes to the Skechers Gold Meb Speed 6, your boy Jamie does approve. Well done. All right, guys, we are back at it. This is the post review review. Today, we got the Skechers Go Meb Speed 6. Now, the people have been all up in my DMs talking about Jamie, there's a new Skechers out. Why haven't you reviewed it? And I'm like, I don't know. But today, we reviewed it. So, you know my thoughts on the shoe. The Speed 6 is the lightweight racer. Oh, you can. Okay, here. Can I join in? Hi. So what do you think Why'd about? You start without me? I just thought I, I, I felt oh, no. the momentum going. I, okay. 
This is the GoMeb Speed 6 lightweight racing flat. No carbon plate crazy stuff happening. It's like simple to the point. But what do you think about it as a racing flat? I mean, it's it's a lightweight shoe. It's um, like you were saying, it's a simple shoe. Very comfortable. Um, I I liked the the bounciness. You know, I liked that it has has a nice bend to it flexible um not much going on on the upper which you know it just kind of disappears on your foot um i didn't feel anything that it pinched me or anything you know it, it was just is very simple design and did it feel secure um yeah i mean i i didn't feel like it was super secure um i felt like it was not gonna fall off at all. Um, I felt like the heel cup was really nice. It has this has this nice plastic firm heel cup here. So my heel was staying in there and um, I didn't feel like it was exactly hugging my foot like a glove, but I have no issues with this shoe at all. I, I think it was, you know, it's a really nice option as a uh, lightweight speed shoe. Yeah. Um... I think if you're someone who likes to speed shoe for like your track and field training where you're not wearing a spike, it can be used for that. Definitely, definitely. As I kind of feel like for me, it'd be a 5K, 10K road shoe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you're if you're one of those guys or girls who can really go the speed and hold it for a long time, maybe you can go to a half marathon. But you know, that's not me. I'm not doing it, but you can. Yeah, I feel like it was comfortable enough that you could run a half marathon in it and um, not feel like it's too firm. It's the hyperburst magic, baby. Yeah, I love it, those it foams. Nice. Like it's good in everything. We have the speed, the speed trail here. I love that shoe. This has some of the hyperburst in the heel, and the midfoot, and some of the ultra fly. But yeah, this is a good shoe. I think Skechers is just killing it. They have, yeah. I mean, the Gold Run Ride Eight is like my daily trainer. These are solid. Um, I do like the Speed Elite, which is the carbon plate. Uh huh. More, and they didn't. They're not out yet. They were going to come out, and then they didn't come out, but they're going to so come out. So you're just teasing us with this. Probably. Teasing. But I'll say that to say this. Like, this shoe was very similar. Mm -hmm. Like, take out the plate. Okay. It's almost the exact same setup. Nice. Like, the mono mesh, the hyperburst, even the feel. It's like you don't have that plate there, but mm -hmm. sometimes the plate can be, like, a little much, depending on, like, how far you're going. And I know everyone likes a plate, but... So what does the plate do different than just the foams? It kind of gives you that propelling like sensation where okay. the, you hit the heel, you're coming off, and it like springs you. Okay. But sometimes you kind of lose like control. Mm. Like it starts to kind of do its own thing. The shoes run away from you? No, they don't run away from you, but it's just... Ah, where did you go? I'm a, away. I'm a, I'm an old school guy. It's like if you're fast, you can okay. go, you can run fast. This Definitely. Is a, this is the shoe that it's going to run the way you run. And if you run fast, it's going to go as fast as you want to go. Mm -hmm. And I love how light it is. It is. Well, okay. Okay. And very breathable. Just, you can, you can literally, you can see my hands through this, this mesh at the top here. That's how breathable it is. So keeps your foot nice and cool in the hot summer months. I think I'm gonna really enjoy this shoe for those those tempo runs. Anything you want to compare this to? Um, I had the Nike Streak. I kind of feel like it kind of in that realm of mm -hmm. a shoe, but this has much more of a better cushioning than that Nike Streak. Though. Yeah. Um, what's that Reebok shoe? Uh, the Float Ride. You have the Pro. You mm -hmm. have the pro version, the two hundred and fifty dollar P-Bax foam. That thing's nice. It is. I'd say this is like a like a step down from it. Just it's this shoe is maybe maybe a little bit heavier. Mm -hmm. um, that thing's super light. That so. thing is is like air. But um, what is this shoe price point at? One forty. One forty. So two fifty I... for that. One forty for this. I mean, if I had to spend money on one shoe, I'm like, this is my racing flat. Mm -hmm. 250 is a lot of money for a racing flat. It's a very nice shoe. Though. It's a very nice shoe. 
Um, this one I'd say is not quite as good, but definitely at the price point, I'd say this one is very much well worth it. Yeah, it's um, it's a really great shoe. Um, you know, I like how it fit on my foot. I always like the the wide Skechers toe box. Um, I'd say maybe I wish it would have kind of gripped around my foot a little bit more, especially for a speed shoe, mm -hmm. that you don't want your foot moving around as much. But um, yeah, it just it felt felt really good. It's light. It's breathable. It's bouncy. I like bouncy. There's a lot of things right. Mm -hmm. It's so simple. And I, people are like, oh, you're Skechers Bites. I'm like, Skechers is just giving the people what they want. Yeah, simple shoes. Keep it simple. Simple, effective. Price points aren't like super crazy for what you're getting. It's, I don't know. Like, I'm trying to find one I just don't like. The Max Row 4 was like, okay. Mm -hmm. But these, the Speed Elites, the Go Run, the Ride 8s, the Go Runs were okay. So, you know, but the ones that are good are really good. Yeah. This is pretty good. One thing I said in the review, I'm going to say it again. These run short. If you want to get a pair of these, please, I advise you to go half size up. Maybe a full size if you like your, you know, a little more room. But I want to half size up for my normal running shoes. Mm -hmm. And it fit the way my other shoes fit. Yes. Yeah. And these are unisex sizing. So explain the sizing. What is your normal running shoe size? My normal running shoe size is a woman's size 9. And in these ones, I wear a unisex size 8. All right. So one size down because it's conversion to men's. Since it fits a half size small, that makes sense to do it that way. Mm -hmm. If you're, I wear 11s in most of my running shoes, the Pegasus, the Razors, the Speed Trails. I went 11 and a half and it fit the exact same way as my 11s. So that's what I suggest. But if you're someone who's like, Amy, I don't want to go. Do your own thing. <laughs> do your own thing. The number is arbitrary. Yeah, no one looks at your feet and go, hmm, you're a size 9? Oh, no. Mm -mm, I don't want your number. Oh, well, that sucks. Oh, one thing I will point out is this shoe does not have a removable sole. What do you mean? So if you're one to put in um, insoles into all of your shoes, you know, you might want to bring your insole with you when you try on these shoes just to see how the fitting works. Um, but, yeah, that, I mean, that's pretty typical for lightweight shoes. Yeah, those, the, ra the racing mm -hmm. flats typically never have a re removable it Sock liner, insole, whatever mm -hmm. you want to call them. This is just a stitched in. Yep. Glued in. Glued in. I can't get it out. No. I'm going to keep trying though. No, don't. Please don't. So, links will be down below. Um, if you want to try them out, go for it. Let me know what you guys think about the shoe. It's been out for a while. Do you like it? Not like it? How would you rate it? And I would do a comparison with this and the Speed Elite. I feel like they're very similar as far as the market, but just different different flavors of the same idea. So I will link that down below when it's ready. With that said, be sure to stay in school. Do not do drugs, please. And if you can, keep it tight. Oh, now you want to cut in. Yes, I'm sorry. Not really. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, follow us on Instagram if you like. If you have any questions, you can follow us on there. Uh, comment down below. We'll have photos of the shoes, but you can comment on any photo. We'll respond to you pretty quickly if you have a question about comparison shoes, these shoes, other shoes we try. Um, just know, a lot of times you see reviews of a person that's reviewing it with me. For example, Zach was in the review of this, but she clearly has this shoe, so she knows about the Speed Trail and the Speed Elite. So a lot of the shoes you see on the channel being reviewed, she has models of them too, so. Because I like shoes She likes She likes shoes. She runs a lot, so. Mm -hmm. She's uh, probably more of a guru than I am. I don't know. I think you are a, uh, like, a very, very smart man. A smart man. Yeah. But I'm a troll. About a, a trolling smart I'm, man. I'm a troll. Maybe I, maybe I pretend to not know as much as I do. <gasps> 
sometimes. What? Yeah. Oh, no. They ask questions about mm. stuff. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. No, People don't like, be fooled. They'd be like, Tammy, do you have the inside scoop of what's coming up? I'm like, I don't know anything about... Yes, he does. I don't know anything about the... I haven't even seen the Razor Force. What? What do they look like? I don't know. I haven't seen them. Liar. Not, I don't believe you. You can't call me a liar on my birthday. Another thing. Can, can, I, can I get a like? Like, <laughs> we filmed this on my birthday. He's, he's the good guy. We could have, like, been chilling and doing nothing and eating, like, brownies. brownies. And we did eat brownies. Yeah. Obviously. And we did kind of chill and do nothing today. But then we went out. And then we worked. We were, or her day off. Like, she works very hard. All the time. And she makes time to make these videos happen. So. Just for you. Thank you. Well, for, for the people. For the people. No, for you. Give the people they you. want. And you. hopefully. They'll give back. Which I appreciate you guys. And all the Patreons. Shout out to you guys. Holding it down. I know I don't upload as much as you guys want me to. But, you know. We're. What are we doing? We're holding it down. 2020. We're close. We're making it through. Let's go 2020. Woo! Almost there.